So let's talk about what you found during okay, your home. You test. know, you saw us doing a lot of tests first. The, uh, we t tested for a lot of toxic mold in the air on the surfaces. Good news, you didn't have any toxic mold in your house. So that's Great. good, okay? <laughs> yes. um, we did test your well water, and it did, didn't have any contaminants except for a very high level of iron. Okay, and I'm not talking just a little high. It actually was 10 times the amount uh, that, that's considered the limit. So Stay that, away from magnets. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, you know, Dr. Pinzone, you ran a battery of tests as well. What did you find in your testing? I thought she might have a rare condition called chrome hydrosis. Chrome for color, hydrosis for sweat, colored sweat. Now, uh, that can lead to some endocrine issues, uh, including acromegaly. We checked for that. That was all negative. Uh, but it still leaves the possibility of chrome hydrosis. And there's two kinds. One is true chrome hydrosis, and that comes from a chemical that's coming from inside of your body. And the other one is pseudo chrome hydrosis, and that comes from something that's outside your environment. Uh, body or in your environment. Mm. In order to get a final answer on this, uh, we thought that Debbie should see a dermatologist. And luckily, okay. here at the doctors, we know a lot of dermatologists. <laughs> yes, or we certified do. dermatologist, Sandra Lee. She's in our procedure room. Hi, guys. So, Dr. Lee, you actually have a test you can perform to try, try to determine this chrome hydrosis, if that's what this is, if it's Internal versus external, as Dr. Pinzone just mentioned. Yes, actually, it's a very simple test. I'm just going to use a black light and shine it on her skin, and this is going to help us to really determine whether this is true versus pseudo chrome hydrosis. 